Good afternoon. Can you hear me? All right. Yes. Okay. Thanks a lot. So, Ana Mendoza. Welcome, Ana. <laughs> Welcome Jennifer Lopez. Wow, we have a famous singer and dancer and actress. And Tatiana Barrera. Welcome. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon, Tatiana. <clears throat> okay, so it's already one o'clock. So it's time to begin our, our class. And uh, well, as you know, uh, this is the beginning of the model number two, right? And uh, my name is Rocio Chicas. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, teacher. <laughs> okay. Um, were you in the same group the last course, the previous model, the previous uh, English class? Todos estaban en el mismo grupo. No, Tatiana y Ana no. Pero ya han recibido clases de inglés antes, con inglés corporativo. Ok, nice. Oh, uh, more people are coming on the way. Okay, Adriana, welcome. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, welcome, Evelyn. Okay, so as I said, my name is Rocio Chicas, okay? <laughs> For the one that had just come. And <clears throat> um, I will start uh, sharing with you my class presentation. <clears throat> <clears throat> Please let me the presentation, the PowerPoint. You see it now? Can you see it in this moment? Pueden ver la pantalla. Can you see? Can you see the screen? Okay, excellent. So, what is the topic for the first class? <clears throat> well, we have transportation, vocabulary, and conversation. Nice card. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> eh, me ha empezado como un poquito de irritación en la garganta, un poco de tos. Así que, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> Voy a... Omicron. Yes. <laughs> Voy a... Okay. A, a quizás invitarles a que puedan ayudarme a leer, ¿verdad? Porque hablar mucho me, me irrita un poco más. Así es que I will ask you for your help. Les pediré su ayuda. I will ask you for your help. Okay. Objectives. Ana, can you please read them? Read the objectives. I only say good you, teacher, but I try. I listen objective. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary, vocabulary for talking about transportation. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates, illustrates this topic. Excellent, Anna. You did it very well. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so today the class will be about vocabulary for transportation and you will practice a conversation. So let's begin. Agenda. Tatiana, can you please read the activities? Activity one, uh, recalling previous um, knowledge, knowledge, pictionary. Activity two. Uh, activity two, how do you get to work? Activity three, conversation time. Activity four, a uh, war up. Thank you, Tatiana. Okay, so let's begin with activity one. And this is Pictionary, okay? So tell me, what means of transportation do you know? You can type it in the chat, okay? Type it in the chat, please. 
<clears throat> in the chat you can write, oh, means of transportation. In the chat, pueden escribir. You can type in the chat. Means of transportation. Medio de transporte. What, which means of transportation do you know? Excellent car. Bad. Okay. <clears throat> oh, airplane. Nice. <clears throat> Train. We still have more. Taxi, Uber. <laughs> Motorcycle, okay. Bicycle, yes, it's a means of transportation. Okay, nice. You mentioned the majority of them. So now you will look at, oh, I have two more messages. Helicopter and train. <laughs> okay. So now look at the pictures. Look at the next pictures. Raise your hand. You can do it in the camera or the virtual hand. And say what mean of transportation you recognize. Okay? So let's begin. What is this? This is one. <laughs> you don't need money to do it, to take this mean of transportation. And it's very healthy. Any idea? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay. Do you know? Any idea? You can type it also in the chat. Well, it's it starts with W. A, L, N, K. Walk, right? Walk, walk. Okay, next. Oh, you, can, you can take notes if you want. Walk. Okay. Next, what is it? Taxi, exactly. It's taxi. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, next. Bicycle. A bicycle. Very good. Yes. Another one that is very healthy. Not very expensive and very healthy. The next one we have the most common used in El Salvador. Bus. The bus, exactly. Thank you. The bus. And this one is now very popular also in our country because of the traffic. Many people prefer to ride a motorcycle. A motorcycle, exactly. A motorcycle. Okay, very good. So um, so which are the means of transportation? Okay, we can make a list. So we have the bus, we have the taxi. You can see it in the in the chat. We have the bicycle, and we have uh, the motorcycle. 
And also, uh, you can walk, right? So bus, taxi, bicycle, motorcycle, walk. Uh, somebody said the train. We also have the salt way. We don't have salt ways here in El Salvador, but European countries, United States, they have subways. That it's a train, but it's underground. Underground. So that is the difference between train and subway. We used to have trains in our country some decades ago, some years ago, but no trains anymore. But trains, you can see the trains on the road, but the subways are underground, right? There's a road and under the road, the subway passes, right? As you can, as you have seen in, in the movies, in the movies, right? Very, very popular in the movies. Okay, so now um, let's continue with the next part. It's only one hour, so we try to run a little bit. So do you know which are the verbs that we use for this? How do I say yo camino al trabajo? Me voy a pie. Any idea? I know, I know you know. Sé que saben. I walk. I walk. No. Okay, I walk to work. Does Excellent. Uh -huh. Or oh, I walk home. I walk home. Me voy a pie para la casa o me voy caminando a casa. I walk home. I walk home. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Carla. Okay, in the next, in the next we have, excuse me. Okay, what about what, which word do you use for the taxi? How do you say yo eh, pido un taxi o tomo el taxi? Very good, Evelyn. I could read your lips. I take the, the taxi. Excellent, Mr. Martinez. I take the taxi. Okay. Nice, I can see you know a lot. Okay, what about this one? The bicycle, which is the verb that I use? I ride the bicycle. Ah, uh, excellent. I ride my bicycle. I ride my bicycle. Mm -hmm. And the same happens with um with the motorcycle, right? Oh, but we have here the bus. What is the, the verb? The action. I, mm -hmm. I take the take, bus. I take the bus. Okay. And then we have, oops, the next one. And what about the motorcycle? I ride my motorcycle, right? Okay, so <clears throat> taxi, bus, you use um, take. I take the taxi, I take the bus, I take the train, right? You can also say that. I take the train, I take the subway. Okay. 
Okay, and what about if you have your own car? You don't use public transportation. What is the verb? You can use the chat or you can open your microphone so that we all can listen. Participation is very important in the class. Don't be afraid of participating. <laughs> Evelyn. Exactly, I drive my car. Ya ven que saben, pero no quieren decir. I drive my car, exactly. Excellent. Please repeat after me because you know, pronunciation is very important too. I walk to work. I walk home. I walk. Uh -huh. I walk you don't pronounce the L. The L is a silent letter. I walk to work. I walk to work. Uh -huh. You don't pronounce the L, just the K. I walk to work. I walk home. I, I walk to work. I walk home. Uh -huh. Yes, Mr. Martinez. Just that. Do not pronounce the L. The L is not pronounced. Okay? So just imagine that the L, imagine, imagine that the L is not there, right? Just imagine. Okay? Because it's a silent letter. When you pronounce it, you just say, I walk. I walk. I walk. Okay. I walk. I walk. Home. Exactly. There you go. Okay. No, se pronuncia uh, la L. no, you don't pronounce the L. It's silent. In English, there are some words that have silent letters. They are not pronounced. Mm -hmm. You will know more about that in the previous, in the future classes, right? Mm -hmm. For example, island. This word. I want to try to write it. Here, island, isla, island. You don't pronounce the, which, which letter do you, do, you don't pronounce? Island. Yes. The yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Because if you say Iceland, then you are referring to Islandia, which is a, a country. Right, so island, isla, Iceland, Islandia, okay? So, um, let's continue. Uh, Podría repetir, por favor. Oh, I just erased. <laughs> Vamos a ver, ahí está. Um, um, I said, island, isla, island, island. we don't pronounce the S. The consonant S is silent letter. We don't pronounce it. So we say island, isla. Now, if we say island, es esta otra que está aquí abajito. Uy. Y es, se refiere a Islandia, que es un país. Entonces estábamos pronunciando, ¿verdad? I take the taxi. I take the taxi. I take the bus. I take the bus. I take the train. I take the train. I take the subway. I take the subway. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, I ride my bicycle. I ride my bus bicycle. I ride my motorcycle. I ride my motor, motorcycle. Mm -hmm. I drive my car. I drive I my drive car. car. Excellent. Good. So now you are going to practice this. We have some questions. 
how do you get to work? A ver, ¿será que todos trabajan aquí? Does everybody raise your hand if you work? Okay, we have only one. I don't believe only one person works in this class. I see that some people are at work in this moment. Oh, Carlita said actually no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but we can also say this, right? Uh, how do you get to work? How do you get to a school or university? Or how do you get home, right? So that is the word, or that is the question that you may ask. How, how do you get here? You can ask someone. ¿Cómo llegaste aquí? Or how do you get to school? ¿Cómo te vas para la escuela? How do you get to the park? ¿Cómo llegas al parque? Or how do you get to your home, right? ¿Cómo te vas para tu casa? So what are some possible answers? You can say, a ver cómo dice ahí eh, Ruth. Ruth Noemi. ¿Cómo dice aquí Ruth? I, la, I, I take the bus to work. Exactly. Thank you so much. The next one, Adrián, Elizabeth. I drive to work. Thank you. Mr. Martinez, Juan Martinez. Disculpe la, la inquietud. Uh, la pregunta que está en letras azules, el sentido sería cómo llegas a, a tu el trabajo? trabajo. Sí, cómo llegas, se está refiriendo al el transporte. Ah, por medio de qué. Uh -huh. Can you read? ¿Puedes leer, Juan? The number three. Uh, my motorcycle. All right, my motorcycle. Okay, Ana Mendoza. I work to a school for work. Uh -huh. Tatiana Barrera. My husband drives me to work. Okay, this one is a little bit different. Esta es como alguien más que la lleva, pero usted no maneja, sino otra persona, pero la lleva. <laughs> For example, in this sentence, it says my husband. What does husband mean? ¿Qué significa husband? Esposo. Ajá, mi esposo me lleva al trabajo. Ajá. My husband drives me to work. And another one. A colleague gives me a ride. This is very, like, common. Un compañero me da ride. A colleague gives me a ride. ¿Por qué le pongo la S al verbo? Because it's... Um, third person. Exactly. Third person singular. My husband is he, right? And a colleague, he or she. Depends. Okay, so yes, you can take some notes and think about your uh, your situation, right? Your circumstances. How do you get to work? Because in some minutes you will be in rooms and you will ask your partners about that, and you have to give an answer, and then you have to share with me and with all the class your findings. Okay, ready? Are you ready? Yes. Oh, that's nice. I love that. Okay. So how do you get to work? The questions are, I'm sorry. Where do you work? This is the first question, right? Where do you work? Donde trabajas? O puede ser, um, where is your work located? Where is your work? 
your workplace located, que es donde está, es más específica la pregunta, ¿verdad? ¿Dónde está ubicado su trabajo? Where is your workplace located? Well, in my case, my workplace is located at home. So I just walk to work, right? From, from what? My room to the living room. <laughs> okay, so what is your workplace located? ¿A dónde está ubicado su trabajo? ¿O a dónde trabaja? Where do you work? And the other question, how do you get to work? But if you don't work, puede preguntar. Um, ¿Dónde vives? Where do you live? Las estoy poniendo en el chat. Las pueden ver ahí. Where do you live? ¿Dónde vives? How do you usually move around? Or what transportation do you use? Okay. So how do you usually move around? Or what transportation do you use? Okay, in case you don't work. If you are not currently working. And then when you finish, I mean, asking your partners, you will tell me, teacher, I found, or me puede decir, por ejemplo, Evelyn takes two buses to get to work. It takes her one hour to get there. Maria, o Mary toma, oh no, yo dije Evelyn, ¿verdad? dos buses para llegar al trabajo y se lleva una hora para llegar, ¿verdad? The other one, Peter drives to work every day, but he hates traffic. Puede ser Juan maneja su trabajo todos los días, pero odia el tráfico, but he hates traffic. So try to, uh, like, have a conversation with your classmates and not just say, How do you get to work? I drive my car, only that. No, try to say something else, right? Give opinions, if you like it, if you don't like it, how long it takes you, you can ask that. Pueden ver las preguntas en el chat. How long does it take you? Cuánto te toma? Cuánto tiempo te toma? How long does it take you? Esa es la pregunta, la voy a poner en español también para que no se me olviden. ¿Cuánto tiempo te toma? ¿Verdad? Viajar. Ok. Commuting. En inglés le llaman eso. Commute. Commuting. Es el tiempo de viajar a la escuela, al trabajo, a la universidad, etc. Ok. So, are you ready to go to the breakout rooms? ¿Listos para irse a las salitas? The break up rooms. I'll give you one moment if you are taking notes of the questions. <laughs> Anyone send it in your WhatsApp, the questions, okay? In the WhatsApp group. Teacher. Dígame, Juan. Sure. Tell me, Juan. Say, commuting. Commuting. Eh, le llaman al, al tiempo de viaje, a viajar. De su casa al trabajo, de su casa al, a la escuela, o de la escuela a su casa. Eso es commuting. Ah, gracias. Ok. Good. So, eh, I'm going to create the groups, the, the rooms, and please enter and practice. In practice. English is a lot of practice, speaking practice, okay? Go ahead.
Sí, la otra. No sé. Eh, es de las preguntas que ella dijo, ¿verdad? Sí. Este, preguntaba cuántos buses tomabas o si tomabas un bus, ¿verdad? O para sí, el trabajo. Correcto. Es correcto. Guardo uh -huh. Yulip Sula. How do you live? Yes. Uh, I take to uh, how do you get to work uh, in bus, bulo, a pie? Uh, okay. Uh, la number two. Look at me. You can say one, I take the bus and I walk. Uh, one, it's the teacher. <laughs> you can say, I take the bus and I walk because you do both things you walk and you take the bus right Juan usted toma el bus y también camina es que yo le hice la pregunta yo le hice la pregunta entonces este, ah, usted le preguntó a Jennifer. Sí, how do you get to work? Ah, ok. How do you get to work? Uh, I take, take the bus to work. Ok, you take the bus to work. <laughs> Juan, how do you get to work? I ride. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Lo siento, pero es el perrito. Teacher, nosotros estamos ahorita hablando, ¿verdad? Porque como ninguna de las tres trabajamos, entonces para poder poner en práctica eso, estamos diciendo eh, de que nosotros tomamos un bus o un taxi cuando vamos al supermercado. Excelente, that's perfect, absolutely perfect. Eh, solo una pregunta, sería en este caso, I take the bus when I went to the supermarket o when I go to the supermarket. When I go... Market. When I go to the supermarket or market, uh -huh. when, when I go, when I go. Uh, okay. When es pasado, verdad? Yo fui. I went to the supermarket. I went to the market. Ajá. Uh -huh. Went. W e uh, n went. went. It's past the past of go. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you say um, I take a taxi when I go to the hospital. For example, when W H E N, cuando voy, tomo taxi cuando voy al hospital. When I go to the hospital, ah, de acuerdo. Mm -hmm. But I like your your idea. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Este otro ejemplo que podríamos poner, compañera Evelyn. Hello. How is it going? ¿Cómo van? Did you finish? Do you need help? 
Uh, I finish. I tell the questions to Ruth. Uh, okay. Claribel say that she doesn't have the question. Oh, but they are in the WhatsApp group. I sent I sent it in the WhatsApp group, an image. So you can check your WhatsApp. Right? Yeah, it's over there. Or in the chat, you can send the question to her. Okay, good. Abbas, when I went to visit my family, when we, when we visit, when we visit our family, uh, when we visit our family, our family mm -hmm. uh, well, it is a My mother and I, uh, my mother and I uh, take a bus when I, when we, when we, when we, when we visit. Uh, when we visit my family, my or relatives, family. Uh -huh, familiar or relatives, mm -hmm. or relatives, uh, relatives, uh, relatives, es, es como familia, pero es como más cercano, verdad? Relatives, no, ma, la fam, family es con la que la más cercana con la que usted vive, bueno, o en general, verdad? Pero los Ajá. relatives son parientes. Familiar. Ah, ya. Ajá, esa, eso quería. Gracias. Relatives. 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 Okay, we have to go to the main room. Good. So, I saw you very active in the room, so that's great. Great. I like when you work in the groups because you help each other. And that's nice. You can you can learn from your classmates. You feel more comfortable to speak, more confident, and that's nice. Okay, so now I would like to hear from some of you. Tell me if you don't want to speak, which is gonna be, I mean, awesome. But if you can chat, okay, you can type it in the chat about what you find. Uh, from your classmates, okay? So please tell me, who wants to start? Who wants to start? Who wants to start? Carlita, why don't you start, please? Okay. Good afternoon. Um, when I went to the park, no, ya me perdí, sorry. <laughs> when I go. Uh, when I go, when I go to the supermarket, I take a bus or I take a taxi or Uber <laughs> and taxi. Very good, yes, thank you. Let's give her applauses for her participation. Thank you. Okay, another volunteer. <laughs> Carlita was my victim, but uh, volunteers. Or victims. Okay. Um, oh, she's me... gonna choose a victim. <laughs> Adriana Lisbeth. Adriana Galdames. Galdames. Good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, example is when, when I go to the wall, I take two buses. You take two buses when you go to work. Okay, and how long does it take you, Ariana? How long does it take you to get to work? Um, An hour, two hours, 30 minutes. Tenía una consulta ahí. ¿Cómo se contestaría en esa ocasión? Mm, nice. It takes me. It, it, it takes it, me. Me toma. Uh, it takes it me. Same. 30 minutes or one hour or two hours. Two hours. Okay, so okay. tell me, Eliana. It takes me two hours? It takes you two hours. Wow. It's example. It's example. Oh, it's just an example. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I was 
about to believe you. Okay, Adriana, now you have to choose the next volunteer, the next participant. Okay, Ana Mendoza. Okay, Anita. La veo con ganas por eso. No. <laughs> I don't have. Uh, but teacher, I have a question. The information is about me or about my partner? It could be about you or about a partner. I would prefer about a partner. Okay. Okay. I'm going to tell you about my partner. <laughs> about Ruth. Okay, about tell us about Ruth. Ruth yes. Ruth uh, works in San Martin and she lives in San Martin. So mm, nice. She takes a taxi for good for to work to, for to work. Mm -hmm. And she spends or she takes 10 minutes. She spends 10 minutes or it takes her, it takes her 10 minutes. 10 minutes. That's awesome. That's awesome, Ruth. Um, but, I think, but I think that she is very rich because, because she, she, she spends $3 every day $3 for the taxi. Three dollars for the taxi. Okay, good. I I love that that you were like um, giving more information, more information about it. Excellent, and then Ruth. What about what about the others? One more, one more participation, please. Jennifer. Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez. Oh, okay, Jennifer. Jennifer, are you ready to share? What about Evelyn? I think Jennifer, I don't know, we don't have any response, but Evelyn? Okay, your, yes, your partner. Uh, live in the in Kilobasco and the Tatiana she lives in Uxatlan. Who lives in Kilobasco? I couldn't hear you. Uh, Carla. 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 She lives in Kilobasco. Okay. And the Tatiana in Yes. Okay. Okay, good. Juan, would you like to say something? I saw you raising your hand. Lo vi levantando la mano, Juan. No, no. Ah, y ahora díganos algo. I, bueno, I, for my work, uh, I, the motorcycle, uh, mm -hmm. it takes me one uh, hour. Okay, where do you live? In, I live in Carretera Suchito. <laughs> On the way to Suchitoto, mm -hmm. and where do you work? Uh, in San Salvador. Oh, My that's why. In... You have to go through the boulevard traffic. Yes. That's why it takes you one hour, even though you ride your motorcycle. Yeah, when your motorcycle is faster than the bus or your car, Yes, it's, mm -hmm. my, it's fast. <laughs> yeah, it's faster. Okay, good. Be careful when you ride your motorcycle. Yes. Be careful. Tenga cuidado. Be careful. Ah, okay, gracias. Thank you. <laughs> yes, be careful, Juan. <laughs> Very good. So now, we have to 
Uh, now, guys, uh, you will uh, listen to a conversation, a conversation about um, a, someone they are talking about a car. Okay, so just let me get ready for that. Okay. I don't know if you already, no sé si ya habían visto eh, la parte de la clase de hoy antes de comenzar la clase. Vamos a ver. Ana oh. dijo sí, yes. Juan? No. No. <laughs> vale, vamos a ver pues. Un pedacito. Just a, 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 a short part. Oh, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here, in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house. So they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary and the conversation that we just heard. The Aha, so as you listen now, it's your turn to practice the conversation. Okay, first just practice exactly the conversation as it is. Okay, I will uh, send you the conversation on WhatsApp and you will practice in the groups. Okay, so please go and enter the groups. Okay. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hola. Hola. Okay. Um, you received the conversation in your WhatsApp group. Okay. So it's the conversation is between Ashley and Jason. So maybe Juan can be Jason and Sula can be Ashley. Entonces, ah, okay, okay. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. And you continue. Then you can practice with Redmi 9. No sé quién es el Redmi 9. Um, Pero, um, I, uh, my name is Byron. Oh, Byron. Okay, Byron. <laughs> Quizás tiene problemas de conexión, ¿verdad, Byron? Yo veo que le cuesta unirse. Yes. Uh -huh. Va, entonces después usted practica yes. con Zula o con Juan. Um, nice car, Jason. It is yours. The conversation is between Ashley and Jason. So you take turns to be Ashley, another can be Jason. You practice. Es que Tatiana se le perdió la conversación. Solo ella falta. Ah, okay. 
Ok. Ya la encontré. ¿Quién empieza? <risa> Yes. Yes. We didn't have more time to create our own conversation. Esa era la idea, hacer nuestra propia conversación. Pero ya no tuvimos tiempo. Las voy a dejar de tarea. Así que pueden okay. empezar a hacerla. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Yo. That's too bad. Can I? Ah, I am the other one. Too bad. The train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Ah, sí. Vale, eso sería, ¿verdad? Sí, eso sería. Yo creo que ya es momento. Ok, guys. It's 1.54. Wow. This hour has gone so fast. Ok. So, can we have a couple of students just practicing in front of the class? The conversation to volunteers, to brave volunteers. Yes, please. I see Tatiana. I see Tatiana that she wants. Tatiana and somebody else. Okay, Tatiana. Vamos a ver quién se anima con Tatiana. Eh, Ay, no, no, no. Zula, ok, Zula. Ajá, eh, me equivoqué en el nombre ahí, es Zulma. Ah, Zulma. <ríe> Zulma. No sé cómo, ajá, no sé cómo se corrige, por eso no lo he hecho. Mal. Ahorita se lo corrijo. Bye. Ay, no. Um, Tatiana y um, Zulma. Ajá, nice car, Jason. ¿It is yours? No, it's my sister. She has a new job and she drives to work is her job her in the su suburbs no it's downtown my parents were downtown but they don't drive to work they use public transportation the bus or the train the train don't stop and near our house so they take the bus it's really slow that's too bad okay thank you great <laughs> okay people now um homework the homework will need to create a conversation Usted elige con qué compañero hacerlo, lo puede hacer individual. Hace la conversación, ¿verdad? Similar, similar conversation. Puede ser sobre un nice car, nice bicycle, nice motorcycle. Puede cambiar, cambie el, el transportation. O puede ser alguien que se encontró en el bus, ¿verdad? O taxi, una conversación con el taxi driver en you. Ok. So, en esa conversación la van a public, la van a escribir. No sé si me la pueden mandar a mi WhatsApp, al grupo, y así todos, todos podemos leer, ¿verdad? Y, y, y eso nos va a servir también para, para aprender de los demás, ¿verdad? Y también. Oh. Oh. No, sorry. Eh. Bueno. Disculpe la pregunta. A mí no me apareció la conversación en WhatsApp. ¿Será que me tiene agregado? No me tiene agregado. Usted está en el grupo principiante 20112PM. Fíjese que no. No me aparece ese grupo de chat. Uh -huh. eh, 
Acá está el, si gusta le comparto el, permítame. Bueno, ahí puede darle clic a lo, y creo que ahí lo agrega. A ese enlace, ajá, en esa línea se va a agregar. Thank you, Carla. You are so kind. Gracias. Vale, entonces, ¿qué van a hacer? ¿La tarea? A hacer la conversación y subirla al grupo. Exactly. Y ustedes también, ajá, en el grupo también pueden hacerlo en esta parte de acá, miren. De um, add a comment, add a post. En esta parte, de, ustedes todos tienen que estar eh, avanzando en la plataforma, ¿verdad? De inglés corporativo online, that English, English corporativo net, module 2 o course 2. Y ahí está la, la, la conversación, ¿verdad? Que vimos y la pueden tomar como ejemplo y pueden escribir. Aquí ya alguien escribió. Algo, miren qué bonito. How do you get to work? I take the bus to work. What do you like to do in your free time? Go for a work, for a walk and ride a bike. What do you do with the, ah, oh, okay. But you can write there the, the conversation or questions, the answers of the questions that we practice today, okay? And, It's time to finish the class. I just have a couple of questions for you to answer. And I will need some. Question number one is, what means of transportation do you usually use? What, mm -hmm. One person, please. I usually use the car and the bus. What means of transportation do you usually use? Okay, I I usually use um sería carro privado. My car. I usually drive my car. Oh, the car. I oh, usually I... drive my uh, and I just I don't drive. You don't drive, so you travel by car. Uh, <laughs> you travel by car. Uh, I travel by car. My car. Okay. By by car. I travel by car. I travel by car. Exactly. Excellent. Okay. Another person. Which means of transportation do you prefer and why? Ruth? I prefer. Okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Adriana, right? I prefer the car. Okay. Why? <laughs> Because I have a car. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And it's it's uh safer, right? It's safe. It's the car. Ah, oh, it's more comfortable, exactly. More comfortable. Yes, it's more comfortable and safe, but it's more expensive, right? Which means of, of transportation don't you like and why? The public, tra the, the public transportation. <laughs> okay, the buses, because they are very crowded, right? A lot of people. Okay, yes. so that's what we learned today in this class. I hope that you enjoy this and that I tomorrow, okay? At 1 p.m. Okay, have a nice afternoon, people. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. 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 Do your homework. Solo una pregunta. La tarea serían la, las tres preguntas y la conversación o solo la conversación. 
la conversación y en el foro de discusión puedes poner la respuesta a las preguntas. Uh -huh. Ah, bueno, gracias. Ya lo voy a poner ahí más claro en el grupo. Muy amable, feliz tarde. Igualmente. Bye, Anita.